Okay, good morning. I am starting out my watercolor review with uh, the most affordable options that I have. Um, the thing is with watercolor that the cheapest stuff is, in my opinion, uh, no use. Um, you can buy these boxes with 20, 24 tubes of watercolor, really cheap, um, but I don't like them. Uh, they don't have very good pigments, so you can't mix them very well. Um, they are not light fast, so uh, when you um, expose your painting later on, the colors will, will wash away in no time. Um, so I'm going to try and give you a review on the brands that I feel are good enough for your art journal. And I think that... Um, I will also give you uh, some remarks about uh, brands that are um, not good enough for fine arts when you want to frame something on a wall, but they would do perfectly when you would reproduce your work or just work in a journal. The first brand I'm starting with is Talents. It's, it's a Dutch brand. I will show you a, a few more gradations of quality of this, uh, of this um, factory. It's talents. It's um, watercolor, transparent watercolors, and there is. Uh, it's got 24 pens, big pens. This looks a lot like um, the watercolor paint that you get in uh, elementary school. This is the opaque version, so you would call this gouache. Although I don't think it behaves like gouache in a tube. Um, what will I say about it? Um, when you use this um, with your children, uh, let's say you want to have a, a watercolor box for your children and use it yourself occasionally, then this is fine. Um, they cost 20 euros, about. Um, I don't know what they will be in America or in, in, in other countries. Maybe a little more expensive. Um, this is school quality, and with school quality, I mean um, elementary school quality. So it's not very good. The colors, they are not as um, bright as the more expensive brands, and um, they will fade very soon. They are not as well mixable. But of the cheap brands, of the cheap versions, I think that this is the starting quality that is acceptable. So that's why I'm showing you this. So this is the acceptable brand. You probably, I, I believe that Pelican has um, has watercolor boxes like these too. They are comparable. They are, you can, you know, they're they're acceptable as well. So if you are starting out with journaling or illustrating, or if you just draw for a hobby every now and then occasionally. And you might want to use watercolor every now and then. Um, then you could buy a box like this. Then you know. Then you could say them. You could ask yourself if it's worth buying a more expensive brand. But if you really want to get into developing your skills, and if you want to work um, a lot with it, and if you want your pages to be beautiful long after you've done them, or maybe even if you want to publish them, or you know, hang them on a wall, then you should opt for better quality. So, acceptable, and that's it. Mm -hmm.